What it do, YouTube, man? It's your boy Rod JB. Uh, this is a new video. I'm calling it Pastor Jennings. Uh, the reason why I decided to do a video is because a video prompted me from them. And I decided to give my remarks on it. Now, <clears throat> everybody know that Snoop Doggy Dog is a rapper. Everybody know that, that Pastor Jennings is exactly a pastor. So, what pissed me off about Pastor Jennings today, when I, as I watched this video, I know it came out a few days ago. What pissed me off about this man is how can you sit up there as a man of God, supposed to be a powerful speaker of God, but then turn around and publicly humiliate another brother it doesn't matter if he did a dance or not who gives you the right to judge the dances and then then when he's dancing you saying i'm the devil i'm the devil what kind of shit is that man i mean i i, I just don't understand what, what 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 gives people the right to feel that they got the right to judge somebody like that and what gets me the only one that seemed to be saying anything right in this situation is Stoop Dog. He like he said, I got embraced by the other, you know, people like Donnie McClurkin and the Clark sisters and all of them. But yet this guy is up there sitting here mocking me, you know, on my dance and talking crap about me in front of everybody and got everybody in the church laughing at me because of, of a little dance that I did and then got that that that's he to say I'm the devil. And Stoop Doggy Dog was like, the least he could have done was, you know, um, you know, talk to him or something, you know, it, it could have been done in a more reasonable manner. I mean, you, like he said, you, Snoop Doggy Dog said, you go to church to be embraced. And yes, if, if I'm a sinner, then you're supposed to help me, you know what I'm saying, as a brother, as a pastor, you know what I'm saying? Instead, he wants to humiliate this man, publicly humiliate this man. And that's in the Bible where it tells how people will be publicly humiliated in the last days. You know, he, he, he got the audacity to sit there and, and, and mock this man in the middle of service and then have the audacity to say, I'm the devil, I'm the devil, while he's mocking him on the dance that he was doing. And Snoop Doggy Dog seemed like he was the only one that sounded logical in this situation. Now, this was unprofessional on Pastor Jennings' part. And if it was me and I had a problem with anybody, uh, 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 such as Snoop Doggy Dog or something like that, and I was in his status, I would just go talk to him personally. Why would you sit here and publicly humiliate this man rather than just go to him and talk to him personally? You could have just went up to him and be like, hey, um, I want to talk to you about something, um, Snoop Doggy Dog. And then you could have just sat down like a real man and had a real man conversation with him rather than sit there and thug him out like that. Make him like like he the very trash out here that's doing all the bad stuff, which he's not. He's a businessman. This man, ever since he uh, not rapped that much, stop, stop rapping so much anymore, this man's been out here being a businessman and you got the audacity to sit here and judge this man like that and then publicly humiliate him on top of that. How dare you, Pastor Jennings? How dare you? You know, did, 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 did you forget about that part in the Bible? How people will be publicly humiliated? You had the whole church laughing at this man. The whole church. You better rethink some things, man. Because it don't make no sense that you're that big of a, a powerful speaker and, and you make mistakes like that. You know, you, you could defame this man. He can end up filing a, 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 a libel suit or something on you. For slander or something, uh, not a libel suit, but a you know a, a slanderous lawsuit on you, you know if that hurts his reputation because of what you did, you might be in for a lawsuit, man, for slander, because you just can't get on the stage in front of a whole church congregation and then mock this man like that and think that that's just supposed to be fly. What if he got on TV and started talking like you, acting like you, something like that? Would you like that? That's not right. I had to call that video out, man, because Snoop Dogg, your dog, he, you know, he, he might not be perfect, but ain't nobody on this earth perfect. So it don't give nobody the right. Nobody really has the right to judge anybody. The biggest judge, like I said before in all my other videos, is God. He's the only judge, the only real judge. And people need to start realizing that. They are, everybody always so quick to judge. And I found that when you go to the, chap the church house, that's where they judge you the fucking most. That's why I stopped going. 
I yeah, praise God right here in my house, right here. Watch me some 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 lessons on TV and read the Bible. There's my church and pray pray to my my Father, my one and true only Father. I have church right here, rather than going to the church being judged by every every other person up in there. That, that he, he he's a primary example. Pastor Jennings is a primary example of the reason why I don't go to church because he's doing that type of. Shit. Snoop Dogg and Dogg ain't even in the church. He not he was, wasn't even at his church. And he judges this man, mocking him in front of his whole congregation. How dare he? And then say you a man of God. He, so, he talk too much. He always judges people all the time. Call himself calling out somebody. You know? Like, like if you're gonna do it, do it the right way. Be a man about it and stop trying to mock people in front of your congregation and start going to these people and talking to them in person or talk, you have a phone call with them and get to know them a little bit better before you mock, mock them in front of the church, man. That's that's not good, man. You're supposed to be a man of God. Nobody's perfect, but realize your mistake, man. All right, y'all, YouTube, that was pretty much all I had to say. I mean, I, I, didn't, I just didn't like that, man. You know, I, I'm watching this video... And, and the only one that actually seemed like he had some sense when he was talking was Snoop Dogg at all. Hey, man, you know, we go to church, you know, you you supposed to be embraced. It doesn't matter if you're perfect or not. Then he going to say, come as you are is a lie. He's like, no, you are supposed to come to church as you are. God accepts all. You know what I'm saying? He might not accept the things that you do. Of course he's not. But that's the whole point of it being in a church house is to get is to learn so you can learn how to do better. But that's, you see, judge. He, he judge. L L listen to him. Listen to him. He ain't accepting that dirt. Why? He's God. He ain't got to come down to your level. He set a standard in you. I'm going to take it back to the far where he was sitting there mocking him. It's like, I, I don't like that, man. I don't like that. He ignites a flame of accountability. Challenging society to reevaluate its like that, standards man. and expectations. I'm gonna show y'all some of the video right quick. The religious path. Jennings' message resonates like with that listeners around the world, inspiring introspection and encouraging individuals to strive for genuine transformation. His call to That's action right, transcends you. mere criticism, offering a path toward redemption and renewal for all who yeah, are. Yeah, criticism. Words. Criticizing people. Despite Gino Jennings' unwavering stance, there's nothing wrong with preaching God's word, but don't don't sit here and mock the man when he when he trying to. Uh, Simply uh, just have fun in church. It's nothing wrong and with repentance it. Repentance and transformation. He challenges the notion that one can continue in a lifestyle contrary to the teachings of Christ while still claiming. I need it. I need them to show that part. I'm trying to James tell you about. I'm sure some of y'all have seen this video, but for the ones that haven't seen the video, I want you all to see this part that I'm talking about. Let me see. Let's see if his play is right here. He won't stand for it. You gonna come dirty, filthy, up the devil. But he ain't accepting that filth. He ain't accepting that He's not gonna filth. accept the filth. He's gonna accept the person. And he never said he he never said he had to. Never said he had to. You see how he judging? Through the scriptures requires more than just lip service. It requires a genuine commitment to holiness and righteousness. He implores Snoop Dogg and others to consider the gravity of their choices and the eternal consequences of living a life contrary to God's will. In the face of opposition and criticism, I, kind of get, I hope that it that they show that part how he mocked him. To be rooted in both grace and truth. He acknowledges the complexity. You know, that, that, this is the type of crap that I be talking space. about. You know, you're supposed to be a man of God, but you up there mocking another human being. It doesn't matter what his status is. It doesn't matter what your status is. You don't have the right to just sit and mock somebody like that. It's indeed a foundational aspect of the Christian church, but he emphasizes that. Because you're trying to make a point. He argues that while God accepts us in our. What, now, now a certain dance is wrong or something? Standard of living. A standard well, let's get to the point, man. You're talking more than he is. Let's go. They're calling. And to strike. Here you go. Here you go. Right here, y'all. Music in a so called crit. And sparks a powerful call to action, urging listeners to align their actions with their faith and make meaningful transformations in their lives. Because this thing's always going. Here it is. In a so called Christian concept, it ain't no different from the. Oh, no, that's the other part of it. Okay, let's go back, man. This has got to be further in the, in the beginning. 
a discontinued embrace of a sin. Talking. Is it an integrity in one spiritual? You see, you see, just judgmental. Ready to call somebody a Christian because they use the name Jesus. Amen. Snoop Dogg now talking about stuff. I'm the one that Jesus chosen one. Liar. That's a lie. How in the world you want that Jesus chosen? How do you know, Pastor Jennings? Coin? How do you know? That's right. That's right. Huh? That's right. Got your own porn, making your own porn tape. You see, public weed. humiliation. Why do the church congress need to know that? Why do they need to know about Snoop Doggy Dog's business? This is public humiliation, and there's a pastor doing it. It's the Snoop bounce. No, no, no steps in particular. No, it's just the Snoop bounce. That's right. The bounce is telling you I'm the devil. That's called slander, y'all. That's called slander right there. Words and passion words. Jennings sparks a See how the church was laughing at him? Far beyond the confines of social media or entertainment. He mocking sports. another man. He's supposed he to be a pastor, though. Accountability, challenging society to reevaluate its standards and expectations for those who claim to. That's what I be talking about when I'm talking about hypocrites. You know what I'm saying? This is the type of shit world. that turns me off from going to churches. When you got people like that want want to act like they the biggest and baddest out here preaching God's word and all this and all that. It's okay, but you still got to be careful and watch what you're doing too. Because that may be some things that you're trying to prove, but look at what you just did. You just publicly humiliated another human being. All because you're trying to make a point. God don't like that either, Pastor Jennings. That's all I want to say, y'all. I ain't about to be talking about all that other stuff today. It might be another. That might be a video tomorrow. So I'll holler back at y'all.